Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can leverage the power of articles in your search engine optimization. You can have these articles written either by you, you can yourself write these articles or you can always outsource the article writing. Um, to outsource the article writing, you can go to odesk.com or elance.com or scriptlance.com and you can hire freelancers who will do the grunge work for you. Now, um, th this video is not about outsourcing, so I'll start off with the article strategy. Okay, the first article strategy is article marketing automation. Okay, now article marketing automation is a tool, okay, which which publishes uh, an article that you provide to various blogs, niche related blogs to your niche uh, over the internet. Okay, they have got uh, thousands of blogs in their network and you submit an article with your uh, links in them you, uh, and the links that you submit won't be in the resource box your links will be inside the article you can submit up to three links per article and the article you submit will be published on various blogs related to your niche okay so wh while publishing an article you'll choose a category and your article will get published in in many of the blogs in that category so uh, let's get started. Let me show you how this works. Um, this is a membership based site $47 per month or something like that, but it's totally worth it because you can submit a lot of articles. You can submit unlimited articles during that period basically. Now here I've logged into my uh, members area. Let me just click on manage my articles and uh, take you through a demo. Okay, so here you can see I've submitted all sorts of articles in them and uh, this shows basically the number of blogs on which this article has been posted and the best thing about article marketing automation is that you can specify different variations of each line in your article and this uh, this tool automatically rewrites your article and submits a different variation of that same article to to different websites so basically the the article you submit uh, will look different in all the websites that it gets published so basically increasing the uniqueness of that article so I'll just click on view of that article and show you how this looks like. Now, as you can see, the body is 46% rewritten and uh, just just uh, note down, uh, just keep noticing here. I'll, I'm going to hit the refresh button. So you'll, you'll notice how the words get rephrased automatically. Okay, and now I'm, I'm not sure if you noticed it or not, but a lot of words have changed just by hitting the refresh button. Okay, um, so basically it, it submits a different variation of the same article you give it, uh, give the tool uh, to different blogs. Okay, and the best part about this is you can submit your links with the anchor text you want uh, and you can submit it to various uh, uh, art blogs, basically get it published in various blogs and you can submit up to three links in an article. Uh, the way I, I recommend is you can put a link at the top of the article, one link in the middle and one link at the bottom like this. Okay, like this. So this is what you can do. Um, what I'm going to show you is how you can create such articles. Okay, uh, how you can publish these articles on article marketing automation. But for the purpose of this, I'm going to just edit this. It will open up the same page which comes up when you um, when you want to add a new article. So this is the page that comes up. You first choose a category you want to publish your article into okay there are a lot of categories which you can choose and each of these categories have hundreds of blogs in them you can choose a category which most uh, which is most relevant to your article then you can choose when you want this uh, distribution to start okay so this is a very awesome very awesome feature because you can uh, you, can, you, you know you can uh, have 10 articles written and you can submit 10 articles to article marketing automation in one day but schedule them to be published uh, after every two or three days so your uh, articles will get published slowly 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 and and it will all seem natural uh, to google okay so you al always want to you know uh, seem um, make your uh, link building seem natural to google okay the second part is where you write your article title and this is the main part the article body now you'll notice that there are, are some uh, quotes and some uh, tilde signs all spread out all over the article basically what this means is that uh, this is one variation of that the same word these are two variations of the same word and uh, when when you do a refresh any one of them will show up similar is this one okay standard common typical these are these are, these are three variations of the same word so 
uh, a line a typical line that will form up in this case is hosting websites is a common issue these days something like this okay so uh, uh, instead of common standard or typical any of them can come in, in in a variation so this is how it works you can add your articles like these uh, sorry your uh, links like these you can make your pnk as your anchor text okay and then you can specify some tags you can also embed videos inside these and uh, then you can hit publish and it gets published okay now you'll notice a rewrite button that comes up here okay which basically means you can rewrite this article okay and and how the rewrite function works is uh, it will show you uh, one line from your article and you can give different variations of the same line and then click continue so so when when the article gets published okay so uh, they'll the uh, the one the variation of the article that gets published will have one of the three or four variations that you mentioned here so the way i recommend you go is you write at least two two lines okay of um, you write two variations of the same line okay and then hit continue so if if you do this for all the lines in an article you'll have a have a, have a good percentage of uh, rewritten articles with you okay uh, and uh, but I, I know that this can be a lot of uh, manual hard work so what i recommend is you go to a site called thebestspinner.com okay now the best spinner is an awesome tool okay which which basically allows you to rewrite your articles um, in in an instant basically okay so you go to thebestspinner.com you check out this video here uh, in which they have shown you how best spinners be the best spinner works and uh, it's an awesome spinner i use this all i always use this spinner to submit articles to article marketing automation instead of doing all the grunge work manually okay and uh, i hope you see the power of this tool basically you can submit one article it gets published to a lot of blogs in in this in the relevant niche that you specify the most common form of article marketing uh, that is used in 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 our community is submitting your articles to various article directories like easy in articles buzzle.com articlesbase.com goarticles.com articlescity.com there are five or six major sites which I, I use to submit my articles i don't i don't create one article and submit it to hundreds of sites okay i recommend you do the same you create one article submit it to four or five sites and what you can do is you can place your links okay in the articles resource box for example let's open up this article here this is a person who has published an article on easy in articles so the article page is opening up okay now as you can see uh, this is the resource box in which the person has used the anchor text natural acne treatments and uh, uh, this links back to the author's website okay so you can have your product name keyword as the anchor text in the resource box and have it linked back to your profit instrument now uh, the basic technique for doing that is very simple to to submit articles is very simple you just sign up for an account with uh, all the article directories the major article directories and you submit an article to them you write a, a, an appealing resource box okay you write uh, two two or three things you need to keep in mind one your article title should be very appealing okay now the article titles that up do appeal uh, um, that that work pretty good are are something like um, five tips to lose weight or um, uh, 101 reasons why you shouldn't uh, jog after eating food or uh, or, or something like uh, this, four easy tips to effectively deal with early signs of autism or like this relationship problems help three sources uh, of advices to help you solve so basically some sort of number that goes along the, these article titles um, fare pretty good these get a lot of hits and a lot of uh, visitors okay so the number of more number more the number of visitors who visit this article of yours the more number of visitors who, who will click through from your resource box and go to your website okay so you can get a lot of visitors from that apart from all the seo benefits as well okay uh, so any how to's or any numbers or anything like that uh, and any interesting or shocking title these, these kind of titles work great and you also need to keep in mind that a resource box needs to be short concise and um, and interesting okay so you don't want to you know put in some boring text like uh, hey my name is this and, and i am an expert on this and and you can visit my website uh, this okay you, you want to make something interesting okay for example let's go to this article 
it seems like this author has put up an interesting uh, uh, not really this is go back okay this sounds like an interesting uh, resource box if you're looking for an excellent franchise that won't cost you more than two thousand dollars click on my website you'll be able to learn everything you need to create success on the internet and you'll have a great mentor and coach so this sounds like an interesting a and um, something that has a purpose a call to action and a purpose of writing the resource box so you, you need to have have a purpose of writing the uh, resource box and making it interesting so the people actually click through to your website okay now uh, this, the, uh, I've, I've, I've been showing you easy in articles similarly uh, there are many more article directories on which you can submit articles but I want to show you something interesting okay with easy in articles I want to show you something interesting that I just discovered uh, in a few months ago now what I want to show you is let's let's go drill down to any category let's say team building under business now there must be thousands of articles inside team building okay uh, so what we'll do is we'll click through to any one of them let's just click on this I'll scroll down to the bottom of this article where you can see the number of times the article has been viewed as you can see this article has been viewed 26 times okay now what you want to check out is the most viewed easy in articles in this category for the last 60 days okay now uh, why I'm showing you this is uh, let's just open up three or four of them and let's see what the view count is like okay okay so as you can see the number one article in the most viewed articles uh, category okay is has got just 674 views so if your article the one you publish gets more than 674 views you'll be at the top here okay and your article link will be featured on all the other articles in that category okay so all the thousands of articles that are inside team building if you get more hundred uh, more than let's say uh, 500 or 600 views you'll feature inside these uh, in inside this section and basically what what this will do is uh, this will show your article in all the thousands of articles that are in this category and uh, this increases traffic to your article as well as this increases your articles page rank because as you can see this one article itself has got a page rank of three okay now imagine all the thousands of articles okay inside uh, this category will have your will have a link to your article in them and many of these articles have got a good page rank so obviously your articles page rank will catapult like anything and because your article has got a link in the resource box with your uh, anchor text which goes on to your profit instrument this basically gives a lot of weight uh, in SEO and, and, and this helps in uh, getting a good good ranking in the search engines so you're getting multi-tiered benefit from this you're getting traffic you're also getting um, a good SEO from because you have published an article on easy articles SEO weightage and you're, you're getting awesome weightage if you get public if you get your uh, article in the most viewed art easy in articles you know section so uh, the way I want you to approach this is first you have to choose a category okay this is the first thing you want to do let's say you've got an article on pregnancy so you, you want to choose a category related to pregnancy that has uh, less number of in which I mean basically the most viewed articles um, you open up uh, some somewhere 10 10 to 15 you can open up these articles and you can check out how many views these articles get okay so if if the number 15 article has got 5,000 views then there's no use in uh, you know publishing your article in that category you you'd much rather publish your article in in, in a category which has got let's say the 10th the tenth position uh, uh, most viewed easy articles has got just let's say 100 views okay so you, you just need 101 views and you'll feature in this uh, section 
So, so that's what you you're looking for. You want to search for a category which uh, in which the most viewed in articles have got less number of views. Next, you want to submit your article with with a good title, with a good resource box, and once you've submitted your article, just uh, build traffic to it. You can you can build traffic through it. Uh, you cannot use PPC or PPV. That's against the terms and conditions of easy in articles. What you can do is you can um, do some. Uh, um, some SEO for it. You can do some social bookmarking for it. You can you can publish your article link on Facebook or Twitter or uh, stumble upon and and drive a lot of traffic to it basically. So uh, once you once you start once you get those uh, few hundred visitors that you want to your article, you'll start featuring in the most viewed section and and your article's weightage will increase tremendously and so will your link in the resource box. And obviously, all this affects your website directly. So I hope this was an awesome technique that you will use. Okay. Now, <clears throat> another technique I want to show you is link wheel. Now the entire process of link wheel has been um, a very debated topic in the SEO community. Now, what I want to show you is I want to show you the the correct and the best way to use a link wheel to increase your uh, site's rankings in the search engines and, and basically leverage the power of link wheels to improve your uh, site's rankings okay so uh, here's a figure i found out in the internet on the internet somehow I, uh, this is an image this is this is by i think linkwheelweb.com so uh, through this image i'm going to explain you the entire link wheel process what you want to do is you want to submit various articles to various web 2.0 properties article directories and um, blog sites so blog sites like blogger wordpress blogger blogspot.com uh, wordpress.com uh, blogs.com okay you want to submit one article to any one of them okay or, or multiple of them then you want to submit another article to various web 2.0 properties like uh, squidoo friendster gather.com terrapad zanga.com okay you want to submit your article to these uh, sites and you want to submit them to article directories as well for example easy in articles and articles base and all that okay so the way you want to go is once you have submitted your articles to all these sites okay you want to mix and match basically you, you don't want to submit uh, your articles you, want to, you don't want to create a link wheel just with web 2.0 sites you want to mix and match uh, in in a, in a link wheel keep keep two or three web 2.0 sites keep one article directory and keep one blog site okay keep one or two blog sites so this is the way to go so what you do is uh, in the article you can put links right so one link with the anchor text will be pointing to your profit instrument and one link will be pointing to the other property in that link wheel for example let's go through this example here okay now uh, the article we post on gather okay that will have one link that will point to our profit instrument and one link that will point to type pad okay so this is the logo for type pad so i'm not really sure but i think this is the logo for type pad but whatever this is this must be a web 2.0 property so one link is pointing to your profit instrument one link is pointing to this property here the url of this property and this this url of this property is basically another article which points to your profit instrument and then another link which points to zanga and similarly one link from zanga will go to a profit instrument and one link will be to terrapad.com and then similarly to vox and then zimbio now the way i recommend is that the what what they have done in this diagram is they have they've created an entire circle i don't want you to create a circle i want you to create a horseshoe okay i want to remove this thing here you want to point this to this, 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 but this will end up in Zimbio. This is Zimbio. So this will end in Zimbio. There won't be any link from Zimbio to gather. Okay. So uh, so basically what this does is this uh, this creates a whole chain of links, which, which all of them point to a profit instrument, but these in turn point to each other also, increasing the weight. Okay. So uh, many people just create these link wheels and then just forget about it. But what I want you to do is I want you to keep updating these link wheels every week or so week or two weeks later. What you can do is you can add a hundred words of uh, content to your uh, to your article in let's say gather.com you add a hundred words or so you can add a video you can embed a video you can you can add a few images uh, just change change a little bit of text add a little text okay you keep on updating your link wheel every two weeks or so one or two weeks okay now 
another thing i want you to do is once you've created your link wheel you want to social bookmark any two of these properties okay social bookmark any two of these let's say you pick out box and zanga okay you social bookmark any two of these not not these properties the the urls that are generated on these properties okay so basically the gather.com will not be pointing to uh, let's say zanga.com will not be pointing to terrapad.com the the uh, the url of your article on zanga.com will be pointing to the url of your article on terrapad.com okay and obviously with with anchor text or so and one thing else you want to keep in mind is you don't want to use the same profit name uh, your pr the product name keyword as anchor text in all these profit uh, in all these properties uh, let's say on gather you have profit instru uh, you want, you have pnk as the uh, anchor text that points to your profit instrument okay then in uh, zanga you have click here to visit pnk okay you can have that text and then in terapad you can have uh, pnk review okay you can have that as the anchor text that points to your profit instrument so mix it up okay remember in the first video of this um, uh, of this series in which i told you that you need to you know diversify your link building efforts so this is what i'm talking about now in middle of all this as you can see there's a squidoo involved okay so what you do is you create a squidoo lens okay which point to all these not all of them just pick out one let's say you pick up quizilla from this and you pick up uh, blogger okay and you point your squidoo lens to both of them and then you social bookmark your squidoo lens this is the way to go and another thing you can do is if you're doing a lot of link wheels you can link all of them up okay for example you can link the zimbio to uh, let's say noel you can link the uh, blogger or or go go articles to friendster okay so you can you can mix and match and link them all up but but please make sure um, while creating link wheels google can trace uh, your your actions so what you can do is you can mix and match you don't use the same web 2.0 properties for all your link wheels just mix and match okay so this is the way to go um, another thing i want you to do okay <laughs> there are a lot of things that i want you to do okay another thing that i wanted to do is after you've created all your properties after you have linked up and created your link wheel you can just ping all the urls that are generated okay you can ping all these urls so the, the google crawler comes quickly and and finds out uh, these properties so that's it about the link wheel okay now but please make sure that you update it and you mix and match you don't have all the six sites that you have in this link wheel as uh, um, as as web 2.0 properties you can have web 2.0 properties blog sites article directories uh, whatever you want okay mix and match okay the next thing you can do is create a squidoo lens okay now this this has nothing nothing to do with the uh, link wheel that was different this is um, just a standalone squidoo lens and a hub page uh, hub that you that you want to create these are two very very alluring and, and uh, search engine friendly web, uh, web 2.0 sites google loves squidoo's squidoo based uh, lenses so just click on the start building link here and create a squidoo lens okay uh, you want to create squidoo lens on a general topic that is related to your pro product name keyword for example let's say our pregnancy miracle is our product name keyword so we want to create a squidoo lens on how to get pregnant fast okay and the article you put in on squidoo uh, should have classically an image at the top let's let me just open up one of them and, and show you how it is uh, let's say let's say 50 kids birthday party themes okay uh, it's going to be a big page so let's open up this one online free visual blitz game this is a classic example of how you want to structure your squidoo lens first you want to have an awesome title okay and that is to the to the point that that basically describes the entire uh, lens that you're creating okay for example how to get pregnant fast that's an awesome title next you want to divide your entire article into various sections for example play, play beach weld blitz online game and then a history of beach weld then online free uh, this basically divide the article into various sections okay next you want to have an image of uh, something if your article is on pregnancy then have a pregnant woman image or something like that have an image on the left side you can download free images from various stock free stock uh, photo sites and you can place anchor anchoring texts okay that point to your website okay so uh, do that next you can also put in 
videos youtube videos you can also put in amazon.com links okay these these uh, will be links that you know give you commission if, if anybody buys on any of them okay and you also want to put in a guest book so that people can comment okay now this is very important because what happens is if you add these guest books etc if people want want to interact and they can interact then it it increases your you know uh, uh, lenses value because the more interactions and the more uh, visitors that come to your lens the more valuable it becomes and and it start it starts getting featured on various uh, categories and its rank starts getting higher for example as you can see this is rank number 51 overall so uh, you can you can ha you can increase the rank of this by you know in introducing these community features so that people can comment but and this is the same for hub pages as well you want to include the community features in hub pages this, uh, the hub pages is uh, uh, website is quite similar to squidoo so the process of creation of a lens and a hub is almost similar you want to include these community features and you want to spread the word out of your lens okay uh, publish it on facebook on twitter on stumble upon on dig uh, social bookmark your lens and and spread the word basically so the people come to your lens the more people come to your lens the more uh, visit visitors uh, your lens gets the more it it gets uh, higher in the rankings okay and the more higher it gets in the rankings the more it gets uh, shown on squidoo.com and in the directories of squidoo.com okay so this is what you want to do while creating a lens and uh, while creating a hub hub in hub pages now i'll just uh, reiterate and, and go through the three main points you have to keep in mind here create a nice article about the niche uh, with a link back with your pnk as the anchor text okay so your pnk will be the anchor text in the links that you put in and don't don't overdo with all the links as as this guy has done i don't know why he has put in five links in the one paragraph but what you want to do is just keep it to one or two or maximum three okay now share that page share the lens or hub with followers on twitter or facebook or uh, and start a discussion basically okay uh in, in the comment section of of this page itself the more people see and comment on your articles or or, or lenses or hubs the more valuable that property becomes and uh, more the more valuable this link okay this link becomes as, as you can see it's got a page rank of five so page rank of five um, from from squidoo means a lot you know it, it gets a lot a lot of value to your website okay so this is all about articles this has been a long video it's almost half an hour now now uh, I've, I've told you a lot of strategies beginning with article marketing automation which which basically automates your entire article submission process it, it publishes your article to various blogs and that to a different variation of your same article to various blogs and then it, it i've also told you about the article directories how you can submit articles to directories how you can structure your titles and your uh, resource boxes and also the the awesome um, easy in articles view strategy in which uh, you can have your article featured in the most viewed articles uh, of of any category you want so be sure to use that concept okay and then you want i told you about the link wheel concept how you can create proper link wheels and uh, what what process basically to follow while creating link wheels and then i told you about squidoo and hub pages which are two mo one of, two of the most famous uh, web 2.0 properties out there so my friend i think this is it for this video in the next video i'm going to i'm going to discuss some stealth tactics that you can follow okay so these stealth tactics are basically uh, in the gray hat zone but don't worry these work awesome these won't get your site in the index or anything so let's discuss all about that in the next video thanks for watching this